just I'm not saying this is everybody's experience okay I'm not saying that before we even start the video I am not saying that everybody's experience is going to be the same all these tips are going to work for everybody I'm just going off my experience and giving it to you because I wish I had somebody to do this for me Hey y'all, it's me, Quinn, and if you didn't know I was Quinn, now you know. Welcome to Quinn's World. <laughs> so this video, as you can tell by the title, is 10 things that I would tell my freshman self, or really just any freshman in general that's in college. And if you've already been on my page, or I'm on my channel, oh, if you've already been on my page or on my channel before, you know that I already have a video like this. It's just advice for freshmen. But now that I've been out of college longer, like when I first made my first advice for freshmen, I was still a senior in college. But now that I'm out of college and I've like experienced more of the real world and had time, like more time to actually reflect on my time in college, I was like, I need to make a better advice video i need to make a better tips video because certain stuff that i left out and it's certain stuff that i need to explain more if that makes sense so yeah let's just go ahead and get into the video okay so as you know i graduated may 21st 2021 yeah class of 2021 don't play with her if you never seen that vlog you have to go watch that vlog after you watch this vlog though so don't go click don't go click off just yet go watch my other vlog tip that I have and I'm gonna read you how I have it leave them boys or girls alone if they not showing you like they really want you like this is your freshman year and I'm gonna be completely completely honest with you and not everybody want to be tied down their freshman year I'm gonna be real like you may come into college being like oh my gosh I want a boyfriend oh my gosh you know Growing up watching Love and Basketball and, you know, Stomp the Yard and stuff like that where you see college sweethearts or even talking to your parents. If some of your parents are college sweethearts, you just already have this mindset of college is where I go to find love. You know, college is where I go find my husband or where I go find my wife. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Y'all know that lady on Get Out. She's like, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You know, the college sweetheart thing is, is nice and it's nice to believe in and it's nice to want. But I'm gonna be real, everybody isn't blessed like that. I'm sorry, everybody isn't blessed like that. But if you are, hold on to it. And we're in college to like get to know yourself. Like college is a great place to be. Do not stress yourself out over finding somebody. Don't do that because you have your whole life to do that. Join organizations and clubs and actually get to know more people. Don't be clicky. Like, don't just stick with your own group. Granted, it's good to just have the same group of friends. It's good to, you know, like, be used, and used to and comfortable with the people that you're around or, like, what you're doing. But joining organizations and clubs on paper, it makes you look good. Like, oh, okay, so not only are they still getting good grades, but they're also out here you know, what, gardening, in the gardening club, on the, um, we have Rams TV, Rams TV, you know, things like that, to make yourself better, to actually get to know yourself and to get to know more people who are within those clubs, because you never know how you all can help each other and how it can intertwine. I didn't really join any organizations for real, was because when I first, my freshman year, I was on the cheer team. So literally there was no time to do anything else but cheer and go to class and study hall and eat and sleep. Like there was literally nothing else for me to do. So if I were to do freshman year all over again, I would be in so many clubs, making so many friends. What? I would talk to my professors 
and actually go to office hours you know like actually take advantage of office hours actually taking advantage of well taking advantage sounds really bad like taking advantage of your professors but that's what they there for they get paid for it they get paid whether you come to their office hours or not they get paid if they you come to class or not they get paid if you email them or not so guess what i will make sure i get my money's worth if i was to do freshman year all over again i will make sure i get my money's worth y'all so if you have a question go ask if you want to be somewhere in life and you don't know how to get there go ask you know like it doesn't hurt to get to know your professors because one day you're going to be a senior and you're going to need recommendation letters for jobs you're going to need recommendation letters for scholarships while you're in college you're going to need recommendation letters for if you want to get on a team if you want to try out for something if you want to join an organization make sure that you have a professor that you can always go to like that go to professor like let me tell you what happened today just somebody there looking out for you because when I tell you it just makes college so much easier knowing that you have an adult um, a professor or somebody looking out for you it's it's just so much easier trust me it is internships and experience is so helpful now I get it we we don't want to do the oh my gosh it's not paid so I don't want to do that internship I get it I get it working for free is not it trust me working for free is not it but hear me out hear me out I'm trying to be like y'all big sister right now okay get it but sometimes you just need experience sometimes the experience can take you farther than the money can and I know that that might not sound believable, but it is like, it's really true y'all. Like I changed my major super late and I turned down some internships because it wasn't paid. And honestly, I regret that. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all. I regret not taking some internships because they were not paid. And when I look into media jobs now, they're talking about experience. They didn't ask if you had a paid internship. They just asked if you had experience. But because I turned down so many internships because they were not paid, there was no experience. Find you some good friends, and I mean real good friends, and stick with them because college is messy okay college is messy um it's drama and just get you some friends just get you some real solid friends that's down for you that's your ride or dies that's gonna stick with you no matter what through anything get you some of them may not get them your freshman year your sophomore year but you will find them and once you find them it'll make college so much more easier and also make friends at other schools. Make friends at other schools so you can have always have events to go to. You can have a homecoming to go to. You can have a little um, spring fest, whatever y'all call it at y'all school. You have other options to go to. Like that is so fun, just traveling to another school. That is fun. So make sure you get some other friends at other schools. We're gonna be 100% real. If you need sexual protection, if you need some condoms, or you need something, you need some sexual health information, you just wanna know more about your body and just sex in general, go to your health center. Like, seriously, if you need condoms, go to your health center, they're free. Yes, they are free. So don't let that little bum boy tell you, I don't got no condom. Baby, it's so you can go get some. Now, if he don't like the brand that they got, then that's his problem. That's y'all probably Y'all figure that out. But I'm just letting you know that there is protection and free protection on campus. It is available for you. Just go to your health center and ask for it. You're in college. Everybody having sex with everybody. I'm gonna be real. Everybody's having sex with everybody. Make sure that you protect yourself.
stress this enough have fun bro if it ain't gonna cause harm to you or anybody else do it now be smart now i'm not going to tell you now i'm not telling you to go do something and just because you don't get caught it doesn't mean that it's harm okay y'all know what i mean but have fun y'all like you will never ever get these years back never never ever like i don't want y'all to look back on y'all college experience and be like dang i should have did this and your freshman year that is the best year no okay. cap. because when it's over it's over you will never get this year back you will never get your undergrad experience back so have fun if you have an older student that was in your major and they're willing to help you write a paper or they're willing to give you their notes that they took on the class do that like that's so helpful y'all like older students within your major is so helpful just they can put you on the different opportunities that they've heard about or um, they can just serve as a mentor somebody that you go talk to about a professor or how does this professor grade or what class should I sign up for within my major like just having somebody that's done it before is just helpful. Who needs a mentor BS that y'all be seeing on Twitter? Man, if you need a mentor, I'll be a great mentor for you. Um, just DM me and let me know if you need a mentor. Fact that, like, fact check them first. Make sure that they will actually be a good mentor. Just because somebody has clout does not make them a good mentor. It's somebody that keeps you on track. Like, yes, you can have your fun, but at the end of the day, this is school, and you need somebody that'll keep you grounded. Last, but certainly not least, don't go telling your business. Like seriously, I'm so serious. Because college is a world inside of a world, all right? It's literally like, you know, a different world. It's seriously a different world, no cap. You will go tell your business to Sue, and then Sue gonna go tell your business to John, and then John gonna tell your business to Paul and Peter and Sam. I don't know why I use Bible names for the boys, but still, like, be mindful. Be mindful what you tell people and make sure you trust people before you tell them anything because secrets and rumors spread like wildfire in college. Like, seriously. You will tell somebody something at 2 o'clock p.m. and at 2.45 p.m., the whole campus knows. So make sure that you are careful who you tell your business to, who you're friends with, um, who you take advice from, everything, y'all. Yeah. So that's the end of this video. I hope this was so, like, I hope this was, like, really, 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 really helpful. Um, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Congratulations on your freshman year or getting accepted into your dream college or always DM me on Instagram, which is Quinsworld underscore. Or you could just leave your leave some a comment under here. Whatever works best for you. But yeah, my DMs are open. My comments are open. I just wish you all the best. And I will see you all in the next video.